let's switch to the last part that is bomb configuration so we understand first of all bomb usage okay that whether if you want to create a bill of material for a specific metal type like if you go to spro and spro okay spro reference img and if you jump to logistics production if you go to the basic data if you go to bill of material and if you go to the uh, control data then define uh, define material types allowed for bomb header okay so as you see when you try to create a bomb for it means slash ncs01 okay and if i try to create a battery charger battery charger is my raw material right hello everybody yes sir when i try yes. to create a raw material bill of material system throwing me error material type roh is not supported for bomb usage why because we are expected to create a bomb for semi finished or finished product not for raw material so this configuration which is important which is going to help you to update the material type here you can see for material type if header material type is going to be roh indicator is negative can you see if you try to create a production bomb one for roh type indicator is negative means not allowed okay if it is fault it is allowing if it is harb it is allowing what is this rnp i don't know okay sfg allowed work was allowed fault is allowed so what is your bomb usage for that you have to have a configuration by which you can control for which material type you have to create a bomb i hope it is clear team then we have yes, seen the yes. bomb status right bomb status configuration if you go back okay we have bomb status here we have status of bomb either active bomb inactive bomb that we see this indicator we already learned that okay then we are having bomb usage time material okay bomb user specific setting you can have okay Okay, so these are the some of your defined material header is done. Okay, item data level also we have seen. Item data level we understand what is the item category, right? Remember, we are done the configuration of this item category, right? Bomb item category configuration, in which we understand more details about what is bomb item category and everything, right? So this is also important configurations. We are supposed to do it. Okay. So even you can make sure that which types of items are allowed, okay, for bomb usage, okay. So all types of material we are allowed as a bomb item. Either finished good can be a part of your uh, bomb item, like the way we are selected B one four four. This was a finished product that is also a part of your bomb item, okay. So that is also bomb item level. Also things you can update, okay. Then what is important in that? I guess this much will be. Default setting. Okay, let us see the default setting. OS twenty eight. Okay, default values is one thing. Okay, we can see OS twenty eight default values. So you can see these are the basic quantities, bomb status. Okay, it is given over here. So this configuration, if you see the CS zero one T code, when you go for CS zero one, we can see. If you try to create a bomb, okay, laptop B fourteen, okay, alternate bomb four, okay. So you can see, uh, base quantity is always considered as a one. If you go to header, base quantity is always one. Can you see? This is always one, yes, but if I yes. want to make it hundred or something, then we can have it. And bomb status is always one. No. So you ask one question, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where the status is coming from? So here is the status. Bomb status is always going to be one because of this. If you make it change, so it will create a that specific bomb. 
uh, inactive bomb also you can create with uh, this kind of default setting. But if it is default, so always better to have an active status. Then you can go and make it manually change. Okay, clear. Yes, sir. These are about default values. Okay, bomb status is done. Item data wise, we discuss. User specific setting, like you want to go for some increment, like no, I will not make change here. Suppose you want to make a changes, okay, like this increment by 10 quantity, 20 quantity, 30 quantity, okay. So, what not a quantity item number is first item is 0010, then second item is 0020. Why it is not 0010 after that? Why it is not 00? Uh, sorry, why it is 0010? Why it is not 001 or 005? Why this increment by 10 quantity? Anybody because of the setting, sir. We have the setting, but why the setting is provision is given? Suppose in the future, let me go slash and ca02. Okay, and I will go for alternate bomb two. Suppose in future you want right. to add a new material over here, okay, and the material number you want to add in between this 40 and 50, you want to add a material over here, then you can use 0045 or 41 that you can update or suppose I want to say this is my material number 0025. I can change the item number and I want to make it this is 0030. Okay, so this way the provision is available for 10 gap is given so you can add 10 number over here in between. So how much increment you have to go for you can go with this here. Okay, material item category whatever you want to have every time that you can key mention it I want to have always L item category. Okay. Then you can have a various list. You have to always select direct. Okay. So what are the different reports and things you are going to use for that? As per user specific, you can make a configuration over here. Okay. Clear. So guys, this is all about your bill of material. I hope I have we have covered all the things in bomb and it is done for today's discussion. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.